Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner with BusinessNetworking.com. I have here a good friend, Terry Hamill. Terry's an executive director for BNI in the UK. He's also a co-national director in Portugal and in Brazil. I didn't know they were like adjacent to each other. They were like way over there. But uh, hey, uh, Terry is a great director uh, and he's got a really interesting topic today. It's about preparation uh, and follow-up for, and what was it? Preparation follow-up? For referrals. Uh, for referrals. And uh, Terry's going to talk about that here today at BusinessNetworking.com. Okay, and what's interesting about this for me is that people get really really excited about the preparation for a 60 seconds and they put a lot of energy and a lot of effort into it and then they get that referral and whether it's specific or not or whether it has the right name on the opportunity and like a crazy first time you get excited and then suddenly they don't do anything about it and really it's about follow up, effective follow up and what I, what I seen one day in a, in a group was just fantastic. I witnessed the result of the perfect follow-up. There was a guy who had a folder and he had his white slips and his yellow slips. And his yellow slips were his most important part because the no, yellow... Let me not know what that oh, is. Okay. You know, so a white slip is who the referral is yeah. going to and a yellow slip is... It's the one that you retain yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And in my years of experience, most people say, why do they even print this yellow part? It's not yeah. important, you know? So he had a folder through of all these yellow slips. And every week he would go back and check that member exactly the process of that follow-up. So not only was he following up on his own referrals, right. but he was making sure that he had because it's reputation. Right. You know, if you're not if you give a referral to someone and you don't know whether they've contacted the client, then you lose that credibility, right. you know. And you find people doing brilliant presentations, brilliant stuff, and they get the referral and that's the weakest part of it. Right. And for me I think it's more the most successful people at BNI tend to have the follow-up angle that right. really is the strong element. Yeah, absolutely. And BNI or in any networking organization, that follow-up is really important. And most networking groups, they'll have a referral slip of some kind, and you use that to, to track the business that, yeah. uh, that's being generated. I think you're absolutely right. Anything you want to add before we wrap up? Uh, you know, I think sometimes you can be a busy fool running around and doing the right things. And when you yeah. go to BNI, or, or any network. Oh, okay. Any Listen, I love being an <laughs> IA. is an organization I founded, but this is, uh, you know, for anyone who's out there networking. It could be a chamber of commerce. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm sorry, I've been in it for 13 years, so I'm a lover of it. So. Um, any form of networking is that you prepare before you go. Don't wing it, right. don't turn up, don't stand up for seven seconds and think about what you're going to say. Right. Think about what you want. Begin with the end in mind, like Michael Gerber, and go for that goal and then follow up. Great. Terry, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, everybody, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner with businessnetworking.com. Thanks for watching.